Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, for another YouTube video, All In Crypto here. And today we are going to be talking about the polarizing XRP. And I'm going to be potentially putting forward what may be a catalyst to see the technical macro pattern that we're looking at for XRP playing out. And I am, of course, referring to a not too distant announcement that was made by Ripple in regards to enabling and facilitating a US stablecoin. In fact, I don't just think it was a US dollar stablecoin that they announced, but the potential for a suite of stablecoins to be enabled using XRP. This is absolutely huge news. And the first thing that I want to do is dive over to the XRP chart and just remind people of what it is that we are looking at. We are looking at a repeat of the technical pattern that led to 2017's mega pump. I believe XRP is setting up in a very similar fashion. I think the lawsuit was essentially brought forward to keep the little guys out of what potentially could play a major role in the payment infrastructure of tomorrow. And of course, I'm talking about XRP. We had recently Augustin Carlson, the um, chair of the BIS, come out and say that the financial system needs a major overhaul and it needs to utilize some of the technologies available today. And they are without a shadow of a doubt talking about blockchain. And actually the fact that XRP back in the prior mar bull market didn't go on and put in a new all-time high may be a blessing, not a curse. It's certainly a curse to anybody that's been in XRP for a long time. Like I have, just to be totally transparent, I own XRP. XRP is not a large part of my portfolio. It's less than 5%, but it's one of those cryptocurrencies that I'd rather get caught with than without, certainly if it's going to play a role in tomorrow's financial system. So we are looking for a catalyst, and we've spoken about a few. We've spoke about the actual usage of XRP in regards to the global remittance markets, which trade around about $7 trillion daily in terms of volume. Any kind of light usage, a $1 trillion worth of volume going through XRP's ledger would see the price skyrocket astronomically and actually see that technical pattern take place. And I know what you guys are thinking. You've heard this all before. You've listened to loads of XRP YouTubers. Well, we are not one of those. We are only paying attention and starting to come out and make XRP content due to the technical significance of where it's at. And we are looking at some of the catalysts and putting some of the pieces together in regards to why its price may do what we believe is technically being signaled so far. So, XRP, of course, recently announced that they were going into the stablecoin field. And why wouldn't they? This is a $150 billion industry. Tether just last week actually released their quarterly earnings, and they were insane. They were Tether are making more money than a lot of US banks out there. However, Tether is not a US company. Right now, XRP is going through the legal rigmarole of being classed as a non-security. I should say Brad, Chris, and of course... Um, Ripple as a company are going through that rigmarole. But I think so far they're very much winning and prevailing. I think they're going to continue to win and prevail. And I think this is going to put them in a position to be almost a unicorn-like stock when they do eventually go public for the United States. One of the reasons the United States is as powerful as it is is due to the companies that come from it. Why do you think China bans a lot of these companies and vice versa? Why do you think we do a similar thing? The US maintains its position as a global leader for a number of reasons. One of the main ones is the fact that if you look at all the big tech companies, they all come out of the United States. And actually, Ripple, I think, is going to gain similar status to that through the usage of their XRP token in enabling a new financial system. We see lots of clues that this essentially might be the case. Now, we had an executive order that was actually signed in March the 9th, 2022. That was a bad time for the cryptocurrency space from a price point of view. Um, and this is President Biden to sign executive order on ensuring responsible development of digital assets. And you can see some of the main topics in the order were protect US customers, investors, and businesses, protect US and global financial stability, and mitigate systemic risk. You can see mitigate the illicit finance and national security risk posed by the illicit use of digital assets. It then goes on to say, and this is the interesting one, promote US leadership in technology and economic competitiveness to reinforce US leadership in the global financial system. 
Now this, ladies and gentlemen, is why I think XRP is going to do very, very well. And another one, of course, is explore US central bank digital currencies, which it's already doing, and to support technological advancements and ensure responsible development of the use of digital assets. We know that Biden and the US government essentially want to maintain at the forefront of the global financial system. And they are not going to be able to do that without digitizing. And this is where I think XRP and Ripple step in. Right now, the largest stable coin in the world is currently Tether. And let's dive over and take a listen to what Brad Garlinghouse had to say in regards to Tether, where it's currently out. And then this, of course, relates to the executive order that we just spoke about. And if you look at how Ripple are positioned, they're a US company. They have no plans to actually migrate outside the US. They want to be a US company. They, they, they you know, they, they're very proud of that. And they're currently going through the rigmarole in regards to regulatory clarity. And I think there's a little bit of shenanigans going on there uh, in regards to perhaps keeping the little guys out with the lawsuit and this whole pantomime that's going on with the SEC. But let's listen to what Brad himself had to say in regards to Tether. This brought up a hell of a lot of controversy and of course Tether CEO himself actually replied to this as you would expect let's dive into the clip of course 100 percent. i just don't know exactly what it is the, the only one that's going to be an interesting one to watch and i don't even know how he calls a black swan because i feel like it's, black swan by definition can't really be it's like predicted oh, didn't see that happening yeah the u.s government is going after tether mm. it, like th that is clear to me uh, I view Tether as a very important part of the ecosystem. The US government is going after Tether and they are indeed for the same reasons that they wouldn't approve a Bitcoin spot ETF until they got CZ and largely Binance out of the way of. It is absolutely of vital importance that the US maintained a role, a central role in tomorrow's digitized world which is going to use blockchain as its underlying rails i believe they're going to choose xrp to do that and i think this is technically this big macro pattern that we're looking at is technically signaling what is to come and the u.s government are indeed looking at tether they don't want the world's largest u.s dollar stablecoin issuer to be outside of the u.s we saw senator lummis who is actually very crypto friendly come out not too long ago and say i would choose circle and she said she would choose them over tether and she'd advise other people to do the same we also have of course the dreaded elizabeth warren who has been calling them out left right and center and ultimately the u.s government is not going to want the largest issuer of their currency in a digital form being outside of the u.s and who better to enable the U.S.'s role in the global financial system than Ripple, a American company which is currently going through the rigmarole of legal clarity because they are adamant they want to stay within the United States and ultimately help the U.S. be a leader. And the fact that they announced their stablecoin at the same time when Tether started to come under a lot of heat to me seemed like too much of a coincidence. And that, ladies and gentlemen, is largely the video. I thought it was very important to bring up that prior executive order because one of the main takeaways that I saw there when it comes to Ripple is the fact that they want to maintain their status and ensure a leader in the financial and sort of digital world. They are only going to be able to do that by leveraging a company that is already doing that. And Ripple, in my opinion, are in the number one position for a number of reasons to essentially enable that. So very interesting. This is just um, a possibility in regards to what could see that super spike that I think is coming for XRP take place. XRP holders will eventually be right, just like gold bugs, although gold bugs, you could argue. Look at gold pro gold's price over years. It has actually been a hedge against the US dollar. You'd have been better off holding gold than you would a US dollar. So bit of a bad analogy, but I do think XRP holders eventually will be right. XRP hasn't stayed within the top 10. It hasn't continued to gain partnerships throughout this whole time just to turn out to be a nothing burger. And hang in there, ladies and gentlemen. I know XRP is polarizing. We are not. And I understand why people get annoyed with XRP because of the nonsense YouTubing and media outlets when it comes to XRP and the consistent lies and never ending rabbit holes that they take you down. But what I am saying is look at how XRP is technically setting up and look at some of the catalysts that are lying around right now that could see what we're technically looking at actually taking place. Ladies and gentlemen, that is all I've got for you in this video. I wanna know your thoughts in the comment section. If you've enjoyed this content, a like is appreciated, so it's a comment, and I will see you all in the next one. Thanks a lot for watching, see you in the next.